Welcome everyone to another fun episode of TAR as in tape archive. Maybe you don't know that each day you use TAR on a Unix system, Linux, BSD, you name it. Actually TAR is a computer software initially designed for tape archives. And certainly many of you have heard about this. Back in the day this was the backbone of all IT backup infrastructure nowadays of course. Not as often used anymore. I personally never had a tape archive. Certainly privately that wasn't a thing I had back in the day 20 years ago. A fine little zip drive here. Of course SCSI for the more professional use. So initially TAR designed for sequential I.O. drives with no file system of their own. So the TAR archives or sometimes referred to as TAR balls have all those various file system parameters such as name, timestamp and then all the data of the files standardized nowadays in various POSIX standards. And this is also why they are not random access like zip archives but again for sequential I.O. So with the second octane I actually got a SCSI tape drive that initially I have not used much because I only had one tape that came with it, some IREX overlays and somehow I tried to read this on Linux. It never worked. I've to this day not figured out why I can't even read it. I actually thought already this tape drive is defect or uh, whatever, but it surprisingly works in IREX. So I have no idea what format it is. Some internet forums say maybe XFS dump of XFS file system dump. However, I cannot read it at all, not with cat, not with DD. It says invalid block size. I tried all kinds of block size, 512, 10, 24, uh, 4096, even 8000, 16000. No idea what format it is. Probably I need to take this apart on IRIX another day. But because I didn't want to ruin this IRIX overlays backup, the only tape I had, I did not buy one or two. I bought 12 or so new old stock from eBay. So let's take a look on creating a tar tape archive here on the SJ Octane. So to operate the tape we have a special MT program with the device name ST SCSI tape. Zero here, eject, rewind and other commands. Tell for the current position, status and other fine stuff. And to create a backup, you guessed it, that is just tar. So let's tie here just the root directory for some testing. And of course how you use it each day with regular files, create compressed file, maybe also verbose. The tape finished this for some reason, not sure if that is normal, that it rewinds automatically. But in any case, we can also search here with end of data, for example, MTF EOD end of data that will take some seconds here of this sequential IO on the tape or just rewind. Also tell tells us now block 120, so rewind. And surprisingly fast though, let's test this archive. Test compressed verbose file SCSI tape 0. And there are our just archived test files here. Certainly not the most snappy as an instance, but relatively high throughput. And first two, then four, eight, 16, 32 gigabyte, you name it. Even developed this DDS standard 234 until recently. So just a quick overview of how you would period correct backup your good old fashioned Unix workstations or any other server or maybe even still use it on a 
daily or weekly basis. That's it for today. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you soon for the next videos and live streams to come.